welcome everyone yet again to another Ticket Freaks 212. I'm your host, Carlos C, and as always, we're here to talk to you about movies. Uh, actually, let me show you my shirt. Uh, rock, paper, scissors. Yep, that's right. Super cool. Anyways, <clears throat> let's, uh, let's start with our new segment called uh, Go Another Round. This is the part of the show where I talk about sequels and trilogies. On today's Go Another Round, we have Rush Hours 1, 2, and 3. Jackie Chan is Inspector Lee, a Hong Kong detective who helps confiscate millions of dollars worth of Chinese stolen artifacts from crime lord Shun Tao. Seeking revenge, Shun Tao kidnaps the 11-year-old daughter of the Chinese consul when he moves to America. Chan is sent to a diplomatic advisor and finds himself paired up with a Los Angeles cop, with a Los Angeles cop, Chris Tucker, a man who works alone and wants to stay that way. Made in 1998. Carter and Lee head to Hong Kong for vacation but become embroiled in a counterfeit money scam, made in 2001. After an attempted assassination on Ambassador Han, Lee and Carter head to Paris to protect a French woman with the knowledge of the triad's secret leaders, made in 2007 as an action comedy and crime directed by Brett Rodner and screenplay by Ross Lamana and Jim Koff and Jeff Nathanson. All right, well, let's begin with the duo. We have on one corner, the guy who does his own stunts. He's always been very good at it. And he's actually a very professional martial arts expert, Jackie Chan, sorry. And on the other corner, we have the smart mouth comedy styles of Chris Tucker. Now, if you don't know about Chris Tucker too well, he's actually been a, a duo kind of person his entire movie career. You've, had him, you've seen him with Charlie Sheen, Bradley Cooper, uh, you saw him with uh, Ice Cube and now Jackie Chan as well. So he's pretty good with that kind of chemistry. So I'm hoping to see him do some more work here and there. Um, looking forward to that. But in this movie, they did both of them did a great job. Combination of comedy, crime, and action. Now, don't get me wrong. This movie is not an Academy Award or an Oscar-worthy type of movie. But to me, my personal opinion, it is actually very entertaining and worth watching. It's actually more fun to watch and wanting to buy it and rent instead of renting it. So, the first one, I loved the first one. Very entertaining, very creative, very unique type of style with two different types of characters. I believe they, they kind of raised the bar for as far as partners in crime work together. Um, the second, I also like the sequel, I like the sequel about the same. Here's the thing I love about the, uh, Rush Hour franchise marketing, or the franchise, sorry, of, uh, Rush Hour, is that on every part, in every movie that they do, there's always, uh, at some point, they talk about a possibility of a sequel being made. And then when the sequel is made, it actually is a continuation of the first one, and I like that, of the last movie made. I like that. I love the fact that they continue the story from there. I don't, I, I, and I honestly also, I love the bloopers at the end of the movies. These, this movie, these movies are entertaining just for the bloopers as well. Um, so for them to have the continuation continue from the last movie, I like that. And I like the hint that they would have a possibility of a sequel coming out through. Now, however, I didn't like the third one because it didn't actually go from the continuation part of the last movie. Not small name, but just didn't have that. But it does explain uh, what happened and that continuation of the story, which is not to me really that good of an idea, especially when you're making a third movie. You want to continue on making it very unique and very interesting to watch. Here's another thing I had a very disappointment in the um, in the third movie. The thing about it is, is that I don't like the fact that they um, they kind of exaggerated it a little bit on the third one. I think they kind of put a little stretch to it. That's why I didn't really like too much of the movie. Um, where it was just kind of too, where the first and second one are kind of like reasonable and logical type of movies that make kind of sense, but then the third one is kind of a little bit of a stretch and a little exaggeration. I think it was far-fetched, if my personal opinion on the third one. I still watch it. Um, I still watch it, but it's just, eh, I don't think the third one was as good as I thought the first and second one was. And here's another thing I was uh, very, int uh, very intrigued about. The fact that they uh, actually have... Um, and a certain, a certain character in the movie has some kind of relation in every particular movie that's been made. And I thought that was okay for the first and second one being made, but I just don't, I just don't like the fact that it continues. I guess it's just because the story is supposed to be based on that, but I don't like having that being the sack, almost a similar plot. And it actually also has a similar type of, uh, plot in it in the, in the couple of the movies as it goes on. 
you kind of will notice that. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but pay attention to the movie. You kind of see some similar things that were from the last movie and so forth and so forth. So I wasn't really too fond of that. However, the movies themselves, Jackie Chan, Chris Tucker, entertaining, fun to watch. It's great to see these fighting scenes going down and all that stuff. I loved it. The bloopers, everything about it. It's just a few things here and there I wasn't too particularly fond of. The third one and the trilogy itself. So yeah, that's just my personal opinion of this, uh, these three movies. Anyways, that's going to do it for us today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the show, and I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Peace.